And while we're on the subject of things that are blue that shouldn't be trusted, let's add the Pokemon rival blue. I hate that guy. Who says smell you later? <sighs> He's probably the least trustworthy video game character ever. Mo. Well, actually, I take that back. You can trust him. You can trust him to show up and ruin your life at the worst possible moments. Just when you think you've got that new gym badge and you're in the lead, doing awesome, guess who beat you to it? Blue! Just when you think your Pokedex is doing awesome, guess who's 50 Pokemon ahead of you? Blue! When you're headed to the Pokemon Center and all your Pokemon are almost dead, guess who pops out to own you? Blue! But I'm done ranting about Blue. Whoa. That's a pretty fierce Chuck over there. Is he still chasing me? Hmm. I'm not quite sure why this level's called Battlefield Earth. It doesn't remind me of Earth. Last time I checked, we didn't have thunderstorms that made pillars of fire. All the time. Uh, we didn't have psychotic baseball players throwing an unlimited supply of baseballs. But this is Mario Earth, so I suppose it doesn't matter. Not bad at all, Mario player. But do you have the wit and speed to find the hidden exit? Or perhaps you still need something? Probably need something. Because at the moment I don't even have a mushroom. What? Take that, Bullet Bill, and Bullet Bill's brother, Benny. Let's see what's up here. No! I need the green switch. Oh well. Once again, playing Final Fantasy music. Not really choosing the music, I actually just have it set to randomly select anything. And we're done with Battlefield Earth. Not that hard. Not too easy. And the scrolling won't stop. Whoa! I thought I was dead. Can you not be crushed after you beat a level? That's pretty interesting. And now, Fire and Ice. Oh. Fire and Ice have always been colliding forces, but in this case, both are your enemies. Take care and don't slip or burn. I don't like you, message blocks. You're blue. So I'm going to do exactly what you told me not to do. Ha! Seriously, though, I like this level design. I love those little blocks as ice, and not just because I use them for that. I just think it looks cool. And it's an interesting concept, I mean, mixing fire and ice together, you'd think the ice would be melting. But other than that, this is really cool. Well, what? Don't tell me this is going to be full of invisible blocks. That would be horrible. How did that kill me? He didn't even kick it. Stupid Chuck and your physics-defying footballs. And feet that can somehow walk on lava. A forewarning of something to come, Mario player. Don't advance too quickly, or the ice will encase you. That doesn't sound good at all. How's the ice going to encase? Is he kicking two footballs at once? That's one skill. Oh, crap. Ice that shoots bullet bills. That's not good. No. No dying. Whoa. No. 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 Crap. Stop it. Good Mario. Alright. So let's see. Oh. I bet this is some kind of puzzle. Alright. No. No. I'm encased in ice. Or something. 
There we go. All right. Throw this down here. Take this down with me. And we're good. I'm taking this with me because I know how us ROM hackers are. Ah. No! Chuck just pwned me. Let's try this again. Ah, forget it. What? What? Okay, there's nothing up there. Just blocks for some reason. Alright. Take that, Chuck. Whoa. And we're good. Oh! No. You're kidding me. Please tell me that's it. Oh. Thank goodness. <laughs> you really had me for a second there. That would have been too evil. House of Shame. Alright, this video is running kind of long, so... I will do the House of Shame on the next video. And I will probably be shamed. Repeatedly.